Hi everyone, my name is Shashank. Welcome to my channel. As you know, this channel is about cricket betting tips. Today, I will talk about how to prepare yourself for a cricket betting in a T20 game. It's very important, like everything else, we must prepare ourselves for betting as well. When you go in an exam, you prepare yourself, you study hard. When you go to play a sport, you really work hard and only then you play and eventually end up winning. Same is the case with betting as well. You have to understand and study the entire match scenario and only then you must put your money. At the end of the day, it's your hard earned money and it should not just go in vain. If you betting, I am very much sure you're just not doing it for the fun sake, but you also want to make money. You want to make some additional revenue for your house. And it is very, very important that you must do your calculation. If you without any preparation, lagayenge, yes, once in a while you will win. But mark my words, more often than not, you will end up on a losing side. I'm not saying if you will preparation, then you will win. No that I'm not saying that every time you will prepare, you will win. But it is very, very important because it gives you an excellent opportunity to win. I can teach you today one way of how to prepare yourself based on something that I believe is my strength. Uh, that is another video that I will make sometime shortly, which in which I will teach you that you need to decide what is your strength. And based on that, you need to do this. Now, one of my strong point while betting is that I can calculate what is going to be the total score by the end of 20th, 50th over. I do my own math and I'm able to get it and I've been winning for quite a while. I have not made million bucks, but I'm doing all right. So I'm going to show you how I prepare and maybe that will help you to prepare yourself as well. So as you see, we have a game coming up right now. Currently it is 3.48 and at 4 a.m. there is a big bash match which is Hobart Hurricanes versus Sydney Sixers women. Now this game is going to start in, in next 12 minutes and I have to prepare myself in terms of who is going to win this game and other betting tips that we have. Now this particular part of how what are these rules I have made a separate video for this so I would recommend you to go back and have a look at a video to understand how what all these things mean just in case you have any doubt about all these particular parameters and type of bets so my strength like I said is to understand how much a team is going to score at the end of the inning this is my strength right now that option isn't there because this is the screen for betting before the game starts once the game will start bet 365 will give you that option but i need to prepare before that because during the game you will not get a time because especially in 2020 the game moves extremely fast so how do i prepare myself now um, the advantage of a t20 games is that uh, especially these leagues is that uh, they have so many games that you can go back and look into the recent history. You don't have to go and search anywhere else. So for that very purpose, I had downloaded a cricket app called CrickBuzz. I'm sure you all know about it. So what I do, I go to CrickBuzz. I open CrickBuzz app. And as you see, Hobart has won the toss and opted to bowl, which means Sydney is going to bat first. Now, for me to understand how much Sydney can score, I have to go to the history. So I go to schedule and this is Sydney as you see. Now what I will do is I will start scrolling up. The last time Sydney played they scored 123 in 20 overs. This is the one. Then let's keep going up. Now, then before that they scored 199. So you can see 121 was the lowest and 199 is the highest. Then another one is 121 again, again this one. So 123, 121, 199. And then 108, this one. But that they were chasing, but still 108 in the 18 over. 73. And 100. 
nine. So as you see, they have varied from one hundred and ninety two to seventy three. Now I would like to understand what happened in these two games where they scored one hundred and ninety two. So I'll go in. I'll go to the scoreboard. I'll check the Sydney Sixers women, and I notice that the first two, their captain and the wicketkeeper, the openers, played a magnificent innings. In fact, the first wicket that got out was at eighty three, and the second at hundred thirty eight, and it is because of the first two batsmen that they they did wonderful. I go back. I go back. Then I go to one hundred and ninety nine. game where they scored that bigger score i click here i check again and i see as you see none of the bo uh, openers even got out so 199 was scored and the other games like you saw they did not score anything so because of the only two openers they managed to reach a total of 190 So what I will understand from now that अगर ये दोनों batsmen खेल रहे हैं तो definitely they are up for a high score. If not, if those two batsmen gets out cheaply, then we have a good opportunity to win. When there is an option comes that you know they will not uh, when they will be betting, which says will they will score above eighty or above one ninety uh, or one uh, twenty. Once these two batsmen get out, I will get a fair idea. where the team is going to stand again like i said it does not guarantee anything but it gives me a good idea on top of that the other thing you can see where the game is going to get played so you saw the performance of the team who is going to bat first now i'm looking at the game itself where exactly they are going to play they're going to play at long cheston now long cheston now it's happening in australia but as you see there is no long cheston so they have not played even a single game in this tournament in long cheston so it is quite unpredictable you do not know how uh, the pitches you do not know how the how big is the ground you do not know anything about it but if you had an option like for example you see melbourne sydney adelaide if it was then i would also look into that very aspect as well that uh, where exactly uh how much so for example uh, you know in bangalore when we have ipl the ground is small and doesn't matter who is playing will and high um so based on that you can really uh, judge so in this particular case this is going to be a 50 50 a dicey call then the another thing that you can take into consideration but hurricanes which is going to bowl in their season so far how much runs they have conceded so are they now that will determine how good are they bowlers so you see here they in melbourne when they played they gave 109 though it was in 15 overs but they gave 109 here they gave 151 here they gave 148 uh, well 149 this game was abundant 124 136, हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी फोर सो अगर आप देखें तो हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी फोर हैज बीन द हाइस्ट दे टू बी अ डिसेंट बॉलिंग साइड एंड इफ सिडनी सिक्स एंड अप लूजिंग द विकेट्स क्विकली especially the two openers the chances are they will not score more than 160 runs so uh, my recommendation once the game starts when that option comes for selecting uh, the total runs for the first inning for sydney sixers if there is an option which says the team will score 180 less put it on that one because this is my calculation and this is how i prepare and this is how i would recommend you to prepare for next of course if you know the team uh, because in this case you did not know um, which players these are because these are not from your country most probably but if it is in your country uh, let's say it's india playing i will know who are the players as well so that also helps me sometimes it helps me to understand which player is playing which player is not playing talking about that by the way i did go here and there you go 
these are the players Elisa Healy and Ellis Perry these were the only two players that always managed to take the team to the very high total of 190 plus and that will help you to understand so you can see for example if these two players were not playing then the chances are from the very beginning they will not be able to score that much but um, you know this is uh, how you have to prepare yourself another thing that you can prepare if you're planning to see who is going to win the game you want to understand you know that perspective now you can obviously go here and then you know the advantage like i said once again if you do not know the tournament but you still want to bet which is perfectly fine you can come here to schedule uh, you can come to the points table and sydney uh, this is sixes sysw is the one that going to play soon sydney sixes women which is at 8 and hbhw is at 5 so they're more or less the same however they have won 4 compared to hobarts winning 2 so this is this can also give you an indication but like you know in 2020 you don't get much of an idea but um, just for you to understand this is how it would work so um in 3 minutes the game would start um i will now play the game in case you play some other time please make sure you do your study and only then you play the game as always i hope my knowledge was useful i hope you have learned something this time and that is my whole and sole objective and i do not want you to waste your money i want you to win so i really hope uh, this uh, tutorial helped you to understand how things work and hopefully we will make some money as well 